Hi YouTube, this is Jordan with a update video on how or well, what we've been doing recently and we're gonna give you a redstone tutorial as well. I'm also joined with Richard. Hello. Yeah, he's over there. And yeah, so first of all get on with what we've been doing recently. We are gonna make our own adventure map. Hopefully. Yes, we're working on an epic one. It's, there's gonna be lots of redstone and it's gonna be beautiful. Yeah. As you can see, it's mainly redstone based, just because we're going to try to stick with our theme as much as we can. And because we're nerds. Yeah. But yeah, it's always different redstone adventure bits in Bobton, which are freaking fun to try out and do. And also, unlike most ones, they're not reusable. They've got switches down each end for each of them, and you can turn most of them on and off. So, off. They're going to be very cautious with CPU and things yeah. like that. Yeah, so it's not going to create massive lag for the server you put on as well, or just playing by yourself. And also, we're going to make the server supported for up to four players, uh, the map even supported for up to four players, so you can play with your friends. And yeah, it should be fun. And we're going to include a boss fight at the end, which I'm going to work on, but yeah. A lot of it involves very simple redstone works. <laughs> yeah, very simple actually. And then you come across to this one here. This one is pretty. It looks like a very easy, simple thing, and it is very simple, as you would. But say. you've also got to be very quick. <laughs> yeah, very simple, but yeah, you have to be very quick, and I don't think I've done it yet. It's simply just powered blocks, just powering a piston that's adjacent to it. Yeah. All on a four tick oh, delay, oh, so. Oh, well done. Was it my fault? Don't worry, I I'll fix it. it. Oh. My crosshair right. is pretty much done. So, as you can kind of see, the way the pistons. See? Eh, oh shit, I just gave them a pointer on how to do it. Um, no, you're not allowed to run, you just gotta go like this. Uh, uh. <laughs> and then we have a more advanced, very fun one, this one is. And uh, oh right, you look at the spiral one, yeah. Yeah, we combine the use of hard and easy switch, so you can set it onto whatever game mode you want. Um, the easy includes one extra platform you can jump onto, but when you're yeah. when you're on easy, this chest you don't is, get the hard bonus, yeah. which is quite useful when you're going into the boss fight at the end. Yeah. So if you put it on hard, you also get this chest at the end. If it's on easy, yeah. you don't. Whilst get Whilst if chest. I put it to easy like that, you don't get the chest. Uh, chest is now blocked. We'll probably work on making the piston look all nice and stuff. But yeah, and maybe whatever way we change it, but that's just the basic idea we're showing you there. Yep. Right, so should we see Richard try and do this? Alright, should I do it on hard or I'll do it on hard first. Okay. Right, if you've, are you, yep. yeah, you're floating at I'm the recording. top. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that was very lucky. I, I was very close. I'm going to change my game mode just so I don't accidentally fly. Yeah, that's a good point. I, I get that. I get that problem quite a lot on the jumping ones. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I was right next to it. Okay, I'm going to try one more on hard and then I'll do it on easy. Oh, See, it's so hard. Close. It's hard. So close. Even okay, easy right, is now, hard. Yeah, now we're doing it on easy. Ah, I got pushed off. <laughs> and as you can hear as well, um, when you change the mode of it, it kind of makes a little ting or whatever. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep dumping off of the first platform, such a fail. Oh, oh. <laughs> can't even do it on easy, I suck at this. <laughs> and I'm the one that made it as well. Oh my god. There we go. But no bonus for me. Aww. <laughs> Sad face. <laughs> yeah, these are just um, so cool. All... And these are very basic as well. Yeah, they're all very basic designs. Um, which kind of adds to the friendliness of them, I guess. Because yeah. it's nothing like... It doesn't involve much explanation. You, you can just see it and yeah. see why it works in that way. And... You know, you can see your objective quite clearly. Now, this here is a little thing for the boss fights at the end. Um, this is going to be a turret that drops down this, and then you've got to shoot this little painting here. Yeah. And when you shoot the painting, it will drop down onto that wooden pressure plate and activate TNT, which blows up the uh, the thing. So don't. Fuck. Yeah, th there's no TNT in the, in there at the minute. I just say. Wait, it. so what does that actually do then? So you meant to shoot the painting while you're being shot yeah. at? 
Yeah, I'll sh I'll show you. Um, if you just go in front of it a minute, you gotta shoot it with a bow and arrow. See, and every so often the uh, the little shield pops down. Ah. Ah. I get it. So when you shoot the painting, the painting falls down. Um. Yeah. Wait. So yeah. does it kill you as well? Or? Uh, no, because. If you think about it, if you're over here, it's not really going to blow you up, but the idea is once you blow up all the turrets then, you'll be able to proceed to the next room. I'll have inverted and switches or something. I like it then. So that, that, um, that's one thing that's not reusable, really but that doesn't have to be reusable because they should, only one person has yeah. to do that. Yeah. And uh, this over here is my idea for a one-way gate system well not one way just one entry so either way you go for it as soon as you go for it it's closed behind you um, which is pretty useful and then to reset it you've got a break off this section break it there and then replace yeah, but that it was meant to, if there's meant to be um four people how is this going to work ah uh, yeah because what we're going to do is we're going to ah I'm gonna work around that for the um, four-player aspect of it, but it works for me either way. But yeah, that's just an idea. It's not definite. That's yeah. for sure. Oh, it's definitely not. <laughs> I did it. Oh well. Um, it's alright. I can easily reset it. Oops. I've already just been making random things. So what's this over here? Um. Yeah, that's kind of his mess at an attempt of what I've done. making masher. Yeah. Even though mine is every two. This is very. Uh, mine is kind of like just as basic as that. Rush. He's done, and he's had to time it all there. My one is just. Uh. Okay, so let's go to the lava run, which is one of the more unforgiving tasks. Yeah, I'm just, show I'm just showing um, the basic insides of um this here. This. Yeah, it's all done with very basic circuitry. Um, very basic. Um, I don't this type of looks something more stable. I think I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure they're state more stable. Um, yeah. So, what do you actually have to do in this then? What hmm? do you do in this thing of oranges? I don't know. Right there, you go. Um, I've added a little sign to your lava run. Oh. Um, the tip, the key about this one is these are actually skeleton spawners at the side, so it's going to spawn skeletons as you try and run across just to add a bit more pressure. But obviously, we'll make it so that if you flick on the easy switch, it'll get rid of those. Yeah, we also have, I built a system up here, very simple, um, that kind of, in a way, it helps you when you go across because it goes just before it goes on. You need to run, so it's a much easier way than trying to time yourself across that. Yeah, um, Jordan, I did notice one problem though. You need to replace these fences with sandstone. No, do you know why? Why? Because I've already put um the bulk of the sandstone down here. I don't think it'll jump up there. I don't know. I reckon people with brains will jump up there. Cause I I can even do it without. Having to press the button. Uh, See, look, John. Good point, then. Even though it means we can't, it doesn't look as nice and we can't see either side, but hold on. There you go. Well, that's it for the win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that way, then. They've got to. Whoa. Actually, I know what I could do anyway. Ah! It's impossible in this direction. So that's actually very hard then what we can do instead then. Also I'm yeah. using the sculpting game texture pack but I need to fix the glass. It kind of well, the brush is messed up kind of as you can see it's a bit of a mess. Everything you do is messed up now. <laughs> well, so that's better now, Rich. Now um, we can now we can still see inside part of it. Yay. Go fun. Uh, yeah, those little redstone torches are little indicators for when to run. It's quite, quite a nice little touch. I thought, me as well. 
But yeah, yeah all these it. will be put in different orders to create a map with... What's the story going to be, Rich? Um, the, the rough idea for the story we have at the minute is that the testificates... Uh, there's a tomb underneath the testificate village, and it's home to one of like, the testificate gods kind of thing, and the god is the god of redstone. Um, <laughs> And so pretty much you've got to go through all these tasks, and then at the end there'll be a little surprise in who it is. But, um, we probably shouldn't say that on here, because yeah. it'll ruin it. <sighs> ah, but yeah, that's, that's the basic idea for the plot. <laughs>